what's happening to you guys? I'm Landon, you guys know that, but for you guys who are new here, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a new Most Amazing Top 10 video. This is where we take wild, crazy, and interesting ideas, compile them into a top 10 list for you guys' entertainment, and so you guys don't have to. So let me ask you, what is your favorite movie, or better yet, what is your favorite zombie movie? Let me know in the comment section below, and also, what top 10 would you guys like to see next? Okay, so getting right into this one, this right here is the top 10 best zombie movies. Starting us off, in at number 10 is Zombieland. The movie came out in 2009, starring Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone. The story takes place in the early 21st century. Zombies have taken over America. A shy and inexperienced college student in Texas has to survive by following his 30 rules. Such as always look in the back seat whenever you get into cars, avoid public bathrooms. Well, his mission in the movie is to travel to Ohio to find out if his mom is still alive. And also to go to an amusement park. This is so crazy because this is during the zombie apocalypse. It's an adventure comedy horror movie. It made over $75 million at the box office. Okay, Shaun of the Dead makes its way onto this list in at number 9. This is a 2004 movie starring Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, and Kate Ashfield. This was released by Universal Pictures. It's a comedy horror style movie that actually makes fun of zombie movies. The budget for this movie was $6.1 million and in at the box office it made 30. The movie is about a man who's dedicated to turning his life around. He wants to win back his ex-girlfriend and he wants to reconnect with his mom. But he has to deal with an entire community that has returned from the dead to eat the living. In at number we have Warm Bodies. This movie was released in 2013, and it's a paranormal romantic zombie kind of movie. The budget for this movie is $35 million, and it made $116 million. So this isn't one of your typical zombie movies where you run away from the zombies. This is more of a romantic movie where the female was human, but the guy, he was a zombie, and they were kind of falling in love. Let's just hope that he never bites her or gets too excited. So starring in this movie was Nicholas Holt and Teresa Palmer. So in the movie, unlike any other movie, the zombie actually becomes human again, which is a great ending. Okay, Planet Terror is now in lucky number 7. This awesome movie was directed by Robert Rodriguez, and this one was released in 2007. The movie is about a group of people attempting to survive an onslaught of zombie-like creatures as they feud with the military unit. After an experiment bioweapon is released, it turned thousands of people into zombies. This was a very scary movie with a huge all-star cast. Just to name a few, it has Rose McGowan, Josh Brolin, Bruce Willis, and many, many more. Okay, World War Z is in at number 6. This movie stars Brad Pitt, who is a United Nations employee who travels the world in a race against time to stop the zombie pandemic. These zombies are topping armies and governments, and are threatening to destroy humanity itself. This is an action adventure horror movie that will keep you on the edge of your seat the whole time. It was released in 2013, the budget was $190 million, and World War Z was released by Paramount Pictures. And this is actually the 13th biggest grossing movie of the year. Alright, number 5, Resident Evil. This is like a franchise of success. The first movie came out in 2002. There was a total of five current movies out. The latest one is in 2012, and there might be a new one coming out very soon. Well, the 2012 was called Retribution. So the next one's coming out is going to be 2017, and that's going to be the final chapter, which might be the last movie. All the movies combined has made almost $1 billion. Producers have spent about $250 million, so that's quite some profit. The movie is about a special military unit who fights a powerful out-of-control supercomputer and hundreds of scientists who have mutated into flesh-eating creatures after a laboratory accident. In at number 4, we have 28 Days Later. I'm not going to tell you this 28 Days Later, I'm talking about the movie called 28 Days Later. This is personally one of my favorite movies, it was released in 2002, it was very scary, intense. The movie is about animal activists invade a laboratory with the intention of releasing chimpanzees that are ongoing experimentation infected by a virus. Well this virus causes rage. The activist ignores the pleas of scientists telling them that it is dangerous, don't let them out of their cage. Four weeks after the mysterious, incurable virus spreads throughout the UK and there's only a handful of survivors who are trying to find sanctuary. Dawn of the Dead, that comes into our list in at number 3. There's two versions of this movie, there's a 1978 release, but the one I'm going to be talking about is the more recent one, the 2004 release. The budget for this movie to create it was about $26 million, but at the box office weekend when it was released, it made $26 million, so it profited in just a few days. The movie is probably one of the scariest on this list. 
list, it's about a nurse, a policeman, a young married couple, a salesman, a few other people who have to all survive a worldwide plague that is turning people into flesh eating zombies. Well they ended up at the shopping mall where they all have to work together and survive. But working together isn't always the easiest. Okay, so the sequel of 28 Days Later comes into our list. And this comes in to number 2 and I'm talking about 28 Weeks Later. This released in 2007 and it's 6 months after the rage virus was infected on the population of Great Britain. The US Army helped to secure a small area of London for the survivals to repopulate and start again. But not everything goes to plan. It's very intense. It was directed by Juan Carlos who did a fantastic job. This movie made almost a hundred million dollars in at the box office. This movie is also a book and because of its success it's also a video game. Okay so finally we've all made it into number one spot. Let's quickly recap. We've had Resident Evil 28 days later, the sequel 28 weeks later, Dawn of the Dead which is one of my personal favorite movies. Well now in at the number one spot the movie we've all been waiting for is actually a classic. Maybe the movie that like started all of this. And that's The Night of the Living Dead. The movie came out back in 1968. The movie is about a group of people they are hiding from bloodthirsty zombies in a farmhouse. The events of it is very scary. The movie became so popular that there was another Night of the Living Dead in 1990, the year I was born. It was directed by Tom Savini. And at the box office, which is 1968, the movie generated $30 million, which is a whole lot of money for its time. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 best zombie movies. Let me know if I've missed any in the comment section below, or what did you guys think should have been at number one? I thought I put the classic in at number one, the thing that started it all. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We do it all over again in the next one, so I'll see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Also subscribe. If you want to get caught up with more top 10 videos, you guys can click right over here. There's two of them. You guys can click on it and watch them. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.